The Green Amendment campaign seeks to realize the two-third gender principle espoused in the Constitution of Kenya. We intend to bring in constitutional amendments that would then provide uh, for a framework for us to realize the two-third gender role. What the Green campaign seeks to do is to set the um, number of uh, elective seats at a cap, which means that we do not have indefinite nominations, but rather these are elective seats. What we're also seeking to do is to set up special constituencies where we have adjacent constituencies in each county um, electing a woman representative to raise the number of women representatives from 47 as currently constituted to 130 seats. This particular um, affirmative action is set to come to an end after 10 years by which period we anticipate that the women who have been elected from the adjacent constituencies will be able and in, in, in better capacity to then vie for the mainstream constituencies. This uh, particular constitutional amendment will not touch on the boundaries as, delimit as delimited by the IEBC previously, um, because then we're, not, we're seeking to retain the current number of constituencies but only to say that adjacent constituencies based on geographical proximity can then come together and elect a woman, um, therefore raising the number, as I said, from 47 to 136. The Green Amendment campaign has also factored in amendments that would then ensure that we have special interest groups, persons with disabilities uh, and the youth included in this particular number of seats. So therefore, we seek to have uh, 22 seats for special interest groups, as well as ensure that at the Senate level, we have a man and a woman elected from each county. We are also very keen about um, not propagating nomination, because then nomination does not set a cap on how many people are going to be nominated but rather, and, and, and also being co cognizant of the discussions around the wage bill, and it's skyrocketing, we're saying that you need to set um, a limit to the number of seats um, in Parliament, but also if within the wards, we want to uh, delete the provisions of hand, uh, Article 177 to set the limit of wards to 1450, so that we have 725 um, with women as uh, representatives.